welcome guys in our talent open studio in this video we are going to learn how to upload your local files to azure storage blob container so in our previous video we have seen how to create a connection to connect from talent to azure blob storage and how can we create a container in your azure blob storage so in this video we are going to upload some files in that particular container in our existing azure blob storage so here we are going to our talent open studio so before it what we are going to do here this is the summary first of all we are going to create a azure storage connection and then set local folder path to upload files set azure storage blob container and set directory name in the azure storage blob container and these are the list of the components which we are going to use so we are going to our talent open studio here we are going to create a new job and load azure load files azure load files blob storage we are going to use as a blob storage ok just copy it control c control v and we have created a blank job ok now first of all we need to create a connection to connect with our azure blob storage so we are using t t azure connection ok so in our previous video we have learned how to create a connection string so we are using that connection string over here ok so property type repository and we have already a connection string in our metadata azure storage ok so guys you can also create uh, it if you want to create it ok then we are going to use t azure put uh, azure storage put ok upload files into microsoft azure storage container so what i am going to do i am going to connect my connection to my azure storage port ok now i am going to use the existing connection and here i need my container so i am just going to this container and copy this ok control c ok in talent ok and uh, the name of file so these are the files which i am going to upload it so copy it is ok and go to our folder then paste it ok now what i need to do uh, azure storage folder so i am just pass the azure storage folder name that is files there is ok files and uh, choose die on error ok then i need to another component that is t azure list ok storage list so i am just click on it then connect my storage port to storage list like this and click on it i am going to choose my existing azure connection and the name of the container and 
जो लिस्ट प्रोवाइड द लिस्ट इन ए कंटेनर इन ए स्पेसिफिक फोल्डर सो वी हैव पुट द कंटेनर नेम फ्रॉम आवर एच योर ओके यू कैन सी दैट इज आवर एच योर सर्वर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लोड ऑल द फाइल्स माई टैलेंट फाइल्स कंटेनर and uh, this is the prefix below files so uh, it would be the subdirectory in this folder so we are going to use another component that is tjava so we need to write some custom code so we should require it okay now right click on thr storage list and in the row choose iterator iterate okay and click double click on <coughs> t java component here i am going to change this code system dot output dot print okay so actually i need to show the total list total files list so i am going to use azure store list current blob just drag and drop it this is okay now semicolon and now our package is ready so guys we are going to run this package and we will see what will happen okay so it is running now okay so we are going to our azure blob storage okay so this is our container click on it okay now there would be a new folder like files which we have okay now in files we are going to check okay so these are the files which is going to be upload on the azure blob storage so we are going to refresh it again in files so you can see these are the files okay csv product text and these are the file types okay now you can see uh, it is very easy to and uh, from the help of t java com component you can see the name of the files which is listed on azure okay so guys uh, we are going to download this file or retrieve this file from azure blob storage and we will show you a demo in talent in our next video so guys please subscribe my channel on youtube thank you for watching us